in the open. It's in the open box, if you think I'll have put it on through the open. And messed it up. Yeah, they're going to do that. Yeah. Can't be trusted, Mike, can they? Hey. Yeah. Hey, we pour it back in last night. Then took it back out at midnight and then put another one back in. So we'll just see what the riders do to, you know, work on their bikes, you know, after practice. Right, away we go then with race number one, the 500 sidecar to lead number eight, Stuart Chapman, Kelly Hurd. We still have Nick and Abby Radley, Richard Hollindale, Paul Smith, Mike Reed, Mark Hopkins and Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. So a cracking start to the... Uh, First qualifying round of the uh, 500 sidecars with British champion and former British champions. Mike Reed has been at the top of this tree for this uh, section of the sport for many, many years. So we've got the four top outfits in action then for race number one. in fourth place a moment, down the back straight they go on the opening lap then it's Nick and Abby Radley starting away in the front with Sean Army and Danny Hogg, they hold that second place vision, Mike Reed now goes through into third, Richard Hollindale relegated to fourth place, Top corner on lap number two when it's Nick and Abby Radley, they've stolen the march of the front, they've been hunted down there by yes. Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg in second place. Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins all in third place. Vision. Richard Hollandale, Paul Smith are in fourth. They could be in fourth. Hollandale in fourth. Down the back straight they go once again. The order the same. The gap between the riders about the same. And this first leg on the 500 sidecars. But it's Nick and Abby Radley leading into that pitch corner. Last back flag being made ready. They break the number 22. Race one sponsored by AJL Painting and Decorating is a win for number 21, Nick and Abby Bradley. Second, number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hull. And third, number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins. Fourth, number 46. One minute 24.53. One minute 24.53. Race two, sponsored by Animal Printing Services. Delete number 99. Alright, we're on the line again then for race number two. second place and being almost through on the inch of done as they go to the back straight for the first time. It's Daniel Egypt then being in second, more cock in third. Bunny Bunny and I think use surprisingly finding themselves at the back of the moment as they power into that fifth corner on the opening lap then. Stop them. <laughs> Relegated to fourth place, that's to four. They go to the back straight on lap two. 
it's still Scotland and Natasha Mark it's starting to get away at the front end and Simon Beard hanging on to that second place Barry Bennett trying to close the gap there in third four more cops holds in fourth place Richard completed that one have got the third with Paul Moorcock and John Cook in fourth place and Simon Beard close the gap on the exit from that top turn on the race leader that is still Scott Dunn and Natasha Barclay coming out of that pitch turn the gap is closing between first and second and Scott Dunn got the third Paul Moorcock is in fourth place again Simon Beard very quick on the entry to that top corner but uh, it's still them. Um, Scott Dunn with the speed going into the pitch bend on lap number four. So it looks as like it's going to be an impressive opening winning by now. Second is number four, Simon Beard. Third number seven, Barry Benny Dyke in Hughes. And four is Paul Moorcock and John Cook. So a result and a win for 118, Scott Dunn and Natasha Barclay. Second number four, Simon Beard and Mark Kearns. And third, number seven, Barry Bennett and Ivan Hughes. Fourth, number one, two, three. One minute, 26.68. One minute, 26.68. Five out, it's on the line then for race number three. Conclusion of the first leg of the 500 sidecars. Might have pulled out of the start for these 500 sidecars. Takes a lot of seems to get away with the bike. Wayne Reed has made a good start. Place we needed. Norton has got the second place position. Dave Carbo's gone through to third. Gary Southgate is in fourth place. Mike Gosling is in five. That's George in the pitch corner on the opening lap. It's Wayne Reed who's stolen the march at the front. Dean Norton trying to close the gap in second. Dave Carbo up the line there. Got away in the front of Dean Norton holding second place. Dave Carble has got the third. Gary Southgill in four. Mike Gosling is in five. That's your order. Gary Southgill again looking to pick that third place up. And Dave Carble as they enter that pitch corner once again. It's still Wayne Lee getting away to front end. <laughs> from that top corner, but having said that, Dave Carble has now hunted down Dean Norton after that second place position. Wayne Reed has got away to front, tremendous race for second, third and fourth places. So can again looking for that third place of Carble and Carble in third. Gosling is in five, that's the five of the race down the back straight once again. Dave Carvel almost throwing into Dave Norton, he's alongside Dave Norton there, and Carvel goes throwing inside Norton, we'll try and get back round the outside of that pitch corner, as Wayne Lund gets the winning line to make the second third and fourth place, Dave Carvel comes in and back up to the second third and fourth place, Dave Carvel comes in and back up to the second third and fourth place, Dave Carvel comes in and back up to the second third and fourth place, Dave Carvel comes in and back up to the second third and fourth place, Dave Carvel comes in and back up to the second third and fourth place, Dave Carvel comes in and back up to the Right, race three result is as follows. A win for number 56, Wayne Reed, Craig Matheson. Second, number 44, <coughs> Gary Southgate, Adam Young. And third, 971, Dean Norton and Joe Richmond. Fourth, number 55, Dave Carville and Carl Webb. And fifth, number 24, Mike Gosling and Aidan Kingsmill. At the discretion of the clerk of the course, Dave Carville was placed in fourth place for that race, which is race three. Winning time, 1 minute 27.19. 1 minute 27.19. JRM engines imported by Speedway Services on the kind sponsors of race number four. First leg of the uh, 250, elite 222, Adam Harper, putting number 29, Frank Yates. In terms of Adam Shippers out there racing, and Point and Ash is still up on the top corner, drawing the practice for the front of Adam Harper. Tom Perry in five at the top five down the back straight for the first time in street leadership cuts back inside Cook to go through into second place and Tom Perry's already worked his way up to that fourth place vision. Harlan Cook making a big move round the outside of that fifth corner as street leadership is not the 
seven, eight, and seven, or eight, that's the top eight. As they go to the back straight, once again, super action, the second and third chip again, back inside, cup, cup, making a big move around the outside of that fifth corner. The three abreast, the first, second, and third places coming out of that fifth corner, and chip, <laughs> Super 250 action there, race number four. Race four results, win for number seven, Harlan Cook. Second number one, Tom Perry. And third number 16, Adam Ship. 75. 17, 178, 28, 10, and 127. 1 minute 26.05, 1 minute 26.05, warning for the clerk of the course for riding number 7, Harlan Cook, and number 75, Lee Street. Race number six, sponsored by Grady Woodward. 
Second Andrew Whittaker and third to Richard Smith, almost off his machine from that top corner, drop three places, goes back to fifth place as Mears leads into the pits corner on the opening lap. Whittaker has got that second place position. Bob Goldman has gone to Richard Smith. <laughs> Andrew Whittaker hunted him down there in that second place position. Bob Dolman consolidated in third. Richard Smith trying to improve on that fourth place position. Andrew Whittaker, big move around the outside. Richard Smith second place So in for number one, Peter Baker. Second, number 32, Arnie Fenner. And third, number 61, Chris Ward. 174, 4, 57, 82, 19, 3, and 127. Time, 1 minute 30.78. 1 minute 30.78. Right, the result of race six, race six, win for number 17, Andrew Whittaker. Second, number 19, Dave Mears. And third, number 33, Richard Smith. 16, 14, 726, 18, 28, 9, and number five, who was demoted one place for consistently cutting the course. One minute twenty-five point six eight the winning time. One minute twenty-five point six eight the winning time. Race seven, first leg of the uh, big chair, sponsored by Lakeside Waters. You know, this is the program. The lead number twenty-six on starter. Number twenty-two. Tom Costa is about to give a Mark Costa. It's Mark Costa making a flying start. Leads going up the back straight for the first on Colin Blackburn. The yeah, outfit trying to find a way through on the inside to go through. Into that leading position. They've exited that top two for the first time. It's Mark Costa. Fitz corner, Fitz Costa leads from Blackburn who's got the second place position going off the back straight, they go once again looks like uh, Steph Lloyd up to into third, in fact isn't Steph Lloyd, Steph Lloyd back in fifth place, so it's uh, Craig, Craig Smith has gone through in that third place position, Costa leads second place, has got the third, now Costa start to get away at the front there, but Colin Blackburn trying to close the gap there in second. It's good ride by Craig Smith, hanging on to that third place vision. Steph Lloyd trying to get through on the into Del Bay to go through into fourth place. This is one of the main actors for fourth and fifth places. Mark Costa will be on to that corner, Colin Blackburn on to that second place. Is it five? Is the leader Mark and Tom Costa halfway up that back straight on lap number four in race number seven from Colin Blackburn, so holding that second place vision. Craig Smith. Consolidating third step fly again, looking for that fourth place of Del Bay. Mark Costa gets the winning ride. Second place goes to Colin Blackmore. Third place is Craig Smith. Fourth, Del Page. Fifth place, step fly. Yeah. 
Looks if Brett Edge has fallen off the back of Craig Smith after the race finished there in race number seven. The result of race number seven, sponsored by Lakeside Water, a win for number 37, that's Mark and Tom Cosser. Second number 25, Colin Blackburn, Martin Smith. And third number 22, Craig Smith and Brett Edge. 31 and number 30. 1 minute 13.63. 1 minute 13.63. Looks at Brett Edge okay, limping back towards the pits areas. We look at race number eight, another heat of the uh, big chairs. The Norma Terry School of Dance are the sponsors of race eight, delete 74 and 76. And it will be number 49, not 46. It's Gareth Winterburn driving, not Rod. Race number eight, John Stafford, Rob Bradley, John Thorpe, and Gareth Winterburn. Garrett Winterburn is the outfit that's gone with him. John Stafford has got the third. John Thorpe is in fourth place. And Rob Bradley leads into the top corner on the opening lap. Garrett Winterburn making a big move around the outside of that top corner. Fourth place, all big chairs make their way up the back straight on lap number two then. And it's reigning Masters champion Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson got away at the front and Garrett Winterburn and Liam Brown hold that second place position. John Stafford, Lee Jones, I've got the third with John Thorpe and Ian Halley. I've got that third. Winterburn always that second. 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 Winterburn always that
seven, that's still the top seven. This comes here to the Nathan Tom Perry Mount. They go into the big corner on Lots of us. Number three. Number three. That markers on that fifth corner in race number nine. Oh, it's cool. And third, 178, Scott Campus. 136, 8, 12, 152, 36, and number 4. Rider 152 was moved back one place in that race. The winning time, 1 minute 22.78. 1 minute 22.78. Eight. Race 10, race sponsors A and D Verity have got their stall showing on the motorcycle just behind the bar there. So please pay them a visit. They kindly sponsor race number 10. There is one edition of the 73 Christmas. Side of that top turn, the lead going down the back straight and Underwood trying to come back through on the inside. Underwood cuts back inside Jones to lead in the pits corner on the opening lap. Jones has got the second. Links are getting away from Dave Needham, who's holding that third. Frank Gates is in fourth place. John Underwood ending the wide line. Five. Six place. Fred Rollins holds that sixth place. That's the top six. They go in the back straight once again. John Underwood made a big mistake upon that top corner. He's lost a lot of ground now on Morris Jones. They're at the fifth corner this time. Jones leads it. And Underwood in second. Needham has got the third place position. Morris Jones starts. Oh, Morris Jones well cleared the front. They're really bunching up there for the minor place in 62. Les Rollins has come for nowhere to go through. Into second place. They need him there looking for that second place. Frank Yates drops back to fifth place. Good action for second, third, and fourth place. Then Morris Jones is still well cleared the front and rollers has got that second place. Frank Yates is fine. Good Again, after one time holding the second place position, last lap flag out for Morris Jones is well clear in the front end, and still it's uh, number 62. Les Rollins holding on to that second place. Morris Jones gets the winning ride. Then Rollins goes wide. Barley comes through. Then Chris Smith, Barry Lander, and Andy Smith. Race 10 result, to win for 115, Morris Jones. Second number 19, Lee Barley. And third number 62, Les Rollins. 364, 77, 29, 73, 246, and 94. Riding number 29, Frank Yates was moved back one place. Winning time, 1 minute 36.44. 1 minute 36.44. We move on to race number 11. AJL painting and decorating are the sponsors. Delete number 99 and delete number 8.
from the Scotland. Dunn's got the speed round the outside with Wayne Reed again trying to get back through on the inside. Dunn leads it and Wayne Reed in second. Mike Reed holds that third place. He going to that pits corner on the opening lap. Scott Dunn, impressive winner first time out. Wayne Reed also won his opening ride. Mike Reed has got the third. Equal distance between these three as they go to the back straight once again. Said that Scotland and Natasha Barker now start to get away then from Wayne Reed and Craig Matheson who holds that second place. Mike Reed, Mark Hopkins have got the third place position. The last half flag is now ready. The last half flag out now for Scotland and Natasha Barker. Clear of Wayne Reed and Craig Matheson. Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins hold the third place position. The pitch corner they go. And this time the last lap flag will be made ready then for the leader of this race, and Scott Dunn. And second, they're getting away from Mike Reed, who's got the third position spot. And the back straight on lap number four. Scott Dunn, the touch of our feet, clear at the front from Wayne Reed and Craig Matheson holding that second place. Mike Reed, Mark Hopkins, they pick up the uh, third spot. Race 11 then, AJL painting and decorating on the sponsors, a win for 118 Scott Dunn and Natasha Barkley. Second number 56, Wayne Reed and Craig Matheson. And third number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins. 1 minute 26.06, 1 minute 26.06. Back in fifth place, they go to the back straight for the first time. It's Gary South, because he leads Sean Harvey trying to find a way through on the inside. Super axe between these two, and Harvey's got it on the inside of Southgate to go through into leading position three abreast for that first place position. As Harvey has a lead from Southgate. What a tremendous race for, for the minor places. As it's Sean Harvey getting away at the front, it's Gary Southgate grimly hanging on to that second. Dean Norton has got that third. Dave Carver now moves back through the four. It's Barry Bennett surprisingly back in first place at the end of that pitch corner once again. Going down that back straight, good ride by Gary Southgate and Adam Young to hang on to that second place position. And now Dean Norton's coming under pressure for that third from Dave Carble. Barry Bennett surprising, dropping back there in fifth place. They're moving on to four. <laughs> And the main action for third and fourth place is first and second look to be settled. Dave Carbo still up that third place of Dean North. There's the impressive combination of Sean Harvey and Danny Hart. They pick up the 25. Number 44 goes to the third. Barry Bennett. Race trial then, a win for number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hart. Second number 44, Gary Southgate and Adam Young. And third, 971, Dean North and Joe Richmond finishing in third place. 55 and number seven, news from Barry Bennett's pit crew. He's got major gearbox problems at the moment. That's why he was struggling at the back there in fifth place in race number 12. One minute 25.94, one minute 25.94, the winning time. Right, race 13, delete outfit number 24.
Sidecars there coming under pressure from Simon B on the exit from that top corner. Randy Lee going down the back straight. B has got the second. Moorcock in third. Hollingdale is in fourth place. That's a four. So the combination of Nicky Abbey Randy setting the pace is great. Dominating that third, which Hollingdale is in fourth place. Wabby not getting away from Simon Simon B. He's hanging off this hotel there in that second place position. Paul Moorcock. Still consolidating third, which is Hollingdale trying to improve on that fourth place position. Once again, and slowly but surely, Nick and Abu Ali are starting to get away there from Simon Beard and Mark Curran to hold that second. Paul Morcock and John Cook are in third, which is Hollingdale falls for this fourth place, and that's the ordinary Race 13 result to win for number 21, Nick and Abby Radley. Second number 4, Simon Beard and Mark Kearns. And third, number 123, Paul Moorcock and John Cook. Fourth, number 46. 1 minute 26.03. 1 minute 26.03. Race 14, back to the second leg of the uh, 250 solos. Sponsored by JRM Engines, imported by Speedway Services Limited. Delete number 222, Adam Harper. Second plate, Lee Street back round the outside. Adam Chip leads into the fifth corner on the opening lap speed. He's got the second, but there goes Dingle back to on the inside. Tom Perry making the move round the outside. <laughs> The former champion holds it there to go into the fifth corner once again. Lee Street taking close order in that third place position. Tom Perry trying to improve on that fourth place in the corner there by John Closing up there on Josh Dingle as they go in that pits corner on lap number three. Dingle takes a wider line shift, takes so much time to line with Dingle as the manager. Tom Perry making a good move to that third place for the first place and down the back straight on lap number four. It's all that can go in. So that final corner is pressing stuff and Josh Dingle at the front and Tom Perry making a good move around the outside of that final corner. Just a second, Tom Perry third. It's a good move. Tom Perry third. Julian seven, eight, Taylor in eighth place. Super good of the action. Race 14. Super action in race number 14, the result is as follows. 
A win for number 16, Adam Schick. Second, number 17, Josh Dingle, who is relegated one place. And third, number one, Tom Perry. 75, 178, 7, 10, 28, and 127. 1 minute 28.18. 1 minute 28.18. Can you move on to race uh, 15 of Bud Solo? Garfield Builders Limited are the sponsors. Peter Baker has gone through into that second place. Bishop Penny leads him, but Baker in second. Roll is in third. Needham is in four. Griffin is in five. That's the top five. They move into the fifth corner on the opening lap. Then it's Penny leads it. Peter Baker comes back for the inside one. Top five goes down the back straight once again. Peter Baker won the first year of the upright. Well in control now for Penny. Holding that second place, Rollins has gone to third. Needham now goes through into the fourth place position. Lee Barley is in five. The uh, top five then, they go into the Looking back third place of Les Rollins. Halfway down that back straight on the lap number three. Baker still looking to make it two to two in it. Should be up by the center of the lap. That's a ten. As Peter Baker again, well clear. He's in the corner of four. Come on, Tom, to race the third and four places. First and second look to be settled as Peter Baker makes it to the two. On the is going to pick up his second place. Rose is going to be the third. Ward is in four. Little bit of a five. Little bit of a six. One, seven, four, seven. Eight to ten. So race 15, a win for number one, Peter Baker. Second, number 32, Arnie Fenner. And third, number 62, Les Rowland. 61, 4, 364, 19, 57, 3, 189, and 246. One minute thirty one point four oh. One minute thirty one point four oh the winning time. We move on to race sixteen. Speedway services again are kindly the sponsors of race sixteen on the heat of the three fifty solos. Andrew Woody is going to be 
move around the outside. Dave Mears on the outside of Andrew Whitaker. These two had a fantastic race in the first set of 350 races. They're out to the game for first and second place now as Whitaker leads going down the back straight for the first time. Mears has got the second ferry in third. Looks like Dolman's on through into the fourth place. And Dave Mears is going on Going into that pit corner, it's still Ferry got the second, Dolmer has got the third, Stuart Mears is in fourth place. second, Ferry in third, Stuart Mears in fourth, Rubber is in five, Mark Ferry is in third, Stuart Mears in fourth, Rubber is in five, Michael Faulkner in six, Wallace in seven, and Rubber in eight. Race 16 result to win for number 17, Andrew Whitaker. Second number 16, Bob Dolman. And third, 188, Mark Ferry. 14, 18, 144, 5, 118, and number 9. 1 minute 26.37. 1 minute 26.37. Dal Page has gone away into third place. John Stafford holds that second place position. John Thorpe is in fourth place. Up to four to go. Come off that top corner and down to complete the opening lap. And it's Craig Smith for the clear lead. John Stafford now goes through into that second place position. Coming under pressure is John Stafford for that second place. And Craig Smith has come to a halt. He was clearly at the front and well at the front. And Craig Smith has come to a stop going up, up that back straight. So desperately bad luck there on Craig Smith. And now he did. John Stafford cleared the front for Dal Page holding that second. John Ford has got the third. And Dal Page is Page will lead it in Stafford in second. Thorpe has got the third place position. Page has gone wide. Stafford again trying to cut back up the inside to retake that leading position as Dal Page leads going up the back straight. But big move by John Stafford. Round the outside of that top corner. Cuts back for the inside run. But still Dal Page will have the advantage. Stafford again trying to get back in the third place. Thorpe holds once again. Still had good race for first and second place is still Dal Page. With the advantage, John Stafford again trying to close the gap going up that back straight. Check it flag being made ready then for outfit number 31. That is the outfit of Dal Page who looks like picking up his first race win of the afternoon. Dal Page wins this evening. Second race for John Stafford. John Paul. Race 17 result to win for number 31, Dal Page and Steve Slaney. Second number 81, John Stafford and Lee Jones and third. 362, John Thorpe and Ian Hale. Race 18, Mark Cosser's past you will be Tom Cosser. Delete, number 74, Shane Lingwood. And it's number 49, not 46, and Gareth Winterburn will be the driver. <laughs> Colin Blackboard's got a 
Rob Bradley, particularly quick away, he's gone through in the second place, Mark Cotter's got the third, Gareth Winderburn is in fourth place, that's the top four's the end, that top corner for the first time, as Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside, Colin Blackwell has got the right round the outside,
One minute twenty-three point nine seven. One minute twenty-three point nine seven. We move on to race twenty. Number seventy-three, Chris Smith, is an addition to this race twenty. in that top corner, Chris Smith making a big move round the edge, trying to try and improve on that third place, John Underwood is good for now and he goes through, in the third and gets round the edge, and Dave needed to go through in the second place, but Morris Jones just stole in a march at the front, it's Jones who leads it then from Underwood holding that second place, needed to the front of the They go down the back straight once again. Morris Jones clears the front. John Underwood trying to close the gap in second. These two getting away from Dave Needham, who holds that third place position. Morris Jones takes a slightly wider line. John Underwood again very tight. Morris Jones in fact he does get through on the into Morris Jones to lead going into the fifth corner on lap number three Underwood leads it Jones has got the second Needham is in third that's the uh, top three of you last lap flag goes out then for John on the inside line it's still people got the third line Dave Needham retakes that third place. Barney will make a big, big move around the outside of the final corner. And Lewis gets the winning ride. Jones gets the second place. Be tight to third and fourth. It's just a good one. It's in five. Frank Yates is in six. Bobby Viner in seven. Race 20 result to win for number 77, John Underwood. Second, number 115, Morris Jones. And third, 364, Dave Needham. 19, 73, 29, 246, and 94. 1 minute 31.78. 1 minute 31.78, the winning time. Right, riders coming out then for race number 21, sponsored by Garfield Builders, to beat number 99, uh, Brian Chapman, so Dave Carmel, Gary South, Dave Richard Hollandale and Simon Beard on the outfit set for race number 21. Place a moment as Simon Beard leads him going down the back straight for the first time. Dave Carmel's got a second. Hollandale's in third. Gary Southgate with a lot to do back in fourth place. They hit the pits corner on the opening lap, and it's a good first lap there for number four, Simon Beard and Mark Kerr. He's in third. Gary Southgate, Alan Young in fourth, and looking to improve on that fourth place position. Down the back straight they go once again and still silently and how's the advantage and he's getting away from Dave Carble who's got that second. Gary Southgate making a big move to try and pinch that third place from uh, Richard Holland down here. <laughs> Gary Southgate making a move round the outside, gets round the outside to go through into that third place position. As Simon Beard getting away at the front from Dave Carville consolidating that second place. Still Southgate in third. Hollandale is in fourth. Third. Gary Southgate now safe in that third place position with Richard Hollandale in fourth spot. 
Simon Beard into the pits corner for the final time in race number 21. Simon Beard gets the line in relation to Dave Marvel. Third is going to South Gate. Fourth place is Richard Hollandale. Race 21 result to win for number 4, Simon Beard and Mark Kearns. Second number 55, Dave Carville and Carl Webb. And third number 44, Gary Southgate and Adam Young. Fourth number 46. 1 minute 26.38. 1 minute 26.38. Race 22 sponsored by Medic Mark, the lead outfit number 8. So Nick Radley on the exit for that top corner. But Radley leads you from Reed Hall in the second. Moorcock in third. North is back in fourth place. That fifth corner on the open lap is the combination. Paul Moorcock top the third. Dean Norton holds the fourth place position. Top two start. Get away from Paul Moorcock. Dean Norton looking to improve on that fourth place position. But it looks if Nick and Abby Radley are the crew to catch this afternoon. They're well clear. In this race number 22 then. That race for third and fourth. This is where the main action is for third and fourth places. As the ramp is clear going down that back straight. Wayne Reed trying to close the gap in second. More cut again pulls away for Norton as he exits the pits corner on lap number three. On to four they go then. Race for third and fourth, Wayne Reed definitely getting close to Nick Radley as they go down the back straight for the final time. Can he put in one determined effort on that fifth corner? It looks if Nick and Abby Radley got a little bit in hand there, and it's Nick and Abby Radley who gets the qualifiers. Good race going on for third and fourth, Dean Morton, North, for the race. Morton just hangs on, Dean Norton in fourth place. Race 22 result to win for number 21, Nick and Abby Bradley. Second number 56, Wayne Reed and Craig Matheson. And third number 123, Paul Moorcock and John Cook. Fourth number 971. One minute 26.72. One minute 26.72. Race number 23, the last of the uh, qualifying heats of the uh, 500 sidecars before we move into their two semi finals. So three outputs on the line for race number 23. Just waiting for Scott Dunn to settle on the inside. Mike Reed next to him and uh, Sean Harvey right on the outside. They all three. Oh, and Scott Dunn is very well to get the front wheel back down. That's an out. Sean Harvey. Sean Harvey, the front wheel up in front of his face. He's now going to set about chasing Sean Harvey. He's trying to get through on the inside of Harvey on the exit from that top corner. Harvey leads him and John in second. These two are getting away from Mike Reed also. Third place position, a bike between the first two into that pits corner on the opening lap. Sean Harvey riding mid track, Scott Dunn taking the time on his mind. Reading third, Scott Dunn not finished yet. Sean Harvey just pulling away, going down that back straight. Scott Dunn trying to close the gap halfway down that back straight. Mike Reed holds that third place position into that pits corner. They go once again. Combination of Sean Harvey Mike Reed holds 
that third place position. They go down the back straight once again. The gap the same between first and second. The end of the pits corner once again. Scott Dunn just gets a little bit closer on the entry to that uh, pits corner. I think uh, Sean Hobby knows exactly where he is. Danny Hawk start to get away at the front and Scott Dunn and Natasha Bark is holding that second place position. Mike Reed, Mark Hopkins has got the third spot. So Sean Harvey and Danny Hawk get the two uh, Scott Dunn and Natasha Bark in third place. Race 23 then, a win for number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hawk. Second number 118, Scott Dunn and Natasha Barclay. And third number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins. One minute 25 exactly. One minute 25 exactly the winning time. We move on to race 24, third leg of the 250 solos. JRF engines imported by Speedway Services are the sponsors. And elite 222, Adam Harper. but nowhere to go for the third place. Don Ferry holds the ball. Josh Dingle is in five. That's a top five then. A ship leads into the fifth corner on the opening lap. Speed has got the second. Big move by Tom Ferry around the outside of that fifth corner. Can he through on that third Trying to get through on the street, gets through on the street, and Barry's following around the outside to go from the third place. Street comes again to him, takes that third place, and Barry again back around the outside, moves back through in the third place. The ship leads it to Holland Cook, making a big move again around the outside of that fifth corner, and Tom Barry's Side this time into Linda then, and ship holding second place, Barry in third, Lee Street getting away from Lee Street in four, Josh Dingle holds that fifth place, Cushion, Tom Perry again winds it on round the outside of that fifth corner, try and get that second place, but Tom Perry's going to drop it again. <laughs> <laughs> Race 24, then a win for number 7, Harlan Cook. Second number 16, Adam Ship. And third number 75, Lee Street. 17, 178, and number 10. 1 minute 26.72, 1 minute 26.72, the winning time.
Second place, Ian Guthridge goes to Wilder from that top corner, and Peter Baker has come for Noah's lead them going down the back straight on the opening lap. Arnie Fenner's got the second, Dave Needham in third, Ian, uh, Ian Guthridge is in that fourth place position. That's the top four as Baker leads them. Fenner in second. Lane are in 10, that's the 10, they go down the back straight once again, then change of position to the Griffin now goes for in the fourth place, he comes under pressure that fourth place, good scrapper on the third, fourth and fifth place, and the end got good, that's the minute he's back there again, five on, Into that third place, Ian Goodbridge again back round the outside to retake that third place position as Baker is in the fourth and Fenner in second. Result win for number one, Peter Baker. Second number 32, Arnie Fenner. And third, 174, Ian Gutteridge. Four, 364, 19, 189, 3, 127, 1 minute 30. Point five oh one minute thirty point five oh engraving for you are the sponsors of race number twenty six the third leg of this intriguing three fifty battle. Second, Mark Barry has got the third. Richard Reed is now through into fourth place. Back with Robin. That's the reason he's gone out. Of the two I've just been told to tell you to switch the fuel off. It will stop the engine. If you can't stop it any other way, switch the fuel off, please.
Inside cars missing from race 28. We are going to run with a four and a five. Now, looks as if uh, Mark Costa has been pulled out of this race. I can see Rob Bradley there over on the far side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's Colin Blackmore that's made the start. Rob Bradley's away in second place. John Stafford now goes through in the third. Del Page retakes that third place as Colin Blackmore leads into that top corner for the first time. Rob Bradley trying to squeeze through. Third, Stafford is in fourth place. That's Jordan going in to that pit corner once again. It's Colin Blackmore, the Viking manager of a Rob Bradley going up the back straight on lap number two. And Colin Blackmore increased that lead of a Rob Bradley. Bradley again closed the gap on the entry to that top turn. It's Page who's got the third with Stafford in fourth place, Colin Blackmore is fine. Looking for line through on the inside, but Colin Blackmore blocks that move and falls away. Going up the back straight, Rob Bradley in hot pursuit in second place. He's still getting away. Pindell Page who holds the third with John Stafford in fourth place. Colin Blackmore's wide again. Rob Bradley almost got through on the inside. But Colin Blackmore is this time. He's on the inside line. Rob Come back for the inside run. Colin Blackmore needs going up the back straight. Rob Bradley holds that second plate. Colin Blackmore starting to get away at the front. Rob Bradley's in second. Del Page in third. John Stafford holds the fourth plate. Richard, check his flag out. Colin Blackmore picks up his first one of the afternoon. Second place goes to Rob Bradley. Third place in the wide running Del Page. Fourth place is John Stafford. Race 27, sponsored by Lakeside Water. And that's a win there for number 25, Colin Blackbourne and Martin Smith. Second number 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. And third number 31, Dal Page and Steve Slaney. Fourth number 81. One minute 14.97. One minute 14.97. Race 26, it'll be number 49, Gareth Winterburn. Delete 26, 76 and 74. I expect to see probably Mark Cosser come in, number 37, as he wasn't out in the previous race. And that's, of course, he now has got machine problems. Yeah, Mark Cosser does come in to race 28 then, uh, with Tom Cosser in the chair. AJS Motorcycle sponsor race number 28. making a cracking start but Craig Smith back he should have been the last race he comes out in this race he needs going in to that top corner Mark Cosser making the move round the outside so Craig Smith on the inside Mark Cosser getting round the outside going for the of Craig Smith and Cotter leads going up the back straight. Straight Smith has got the second. Winterburn has got the third. Blige in four. John Ford is in five. And Captain Winterburn looking back second place of Craig Smith. Craig Smith on the entry to that top corner. It's Costa who leads it then. From Winterburn has got the second place. Craig Smith will take that 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 second place. Craig Smith and Brett Edge have got the third. Step line Jason Gill in four. It's John Thorpe in fifth place, that's the five, and Mark Cotter starts to increase the lead now as they race on the last one. Second place, Sean Smith is in four, John Thorpe is in five. Gareth Winterburn very quick on the exit from that pit's corner, close one of on Mark Cosser, could have been interesting last corner, Gareth Winterburn trying to go find a way through, on the inside Mark Cosser, they touch coming out of that top corner, and Gareth Winterburn just got him, tremendous last corner there by Gareth Winterburn, my really Megatson Ray, going up that back straight. Right, race number 28, a win for number 37, Mark and Tom Cosser. Second, number 49, Gareth Winderburn and Liam Brown, who have put back one place for contact on that top corner. And third, number 22, Craig Smith and Brett Edge. 30 and 362. 1 minute 15.41. 1 minute 15.41. For one, the winning time. We now go back to race number 26, which is that leg of the uh, 
350 sponsored by JRM Engines imported by Speedway Services. going into that top one and Bob Dolan making the move to go through. In the second place, Mark Perry has got the third shirt. He's in fourth. Michael Faulkner is in five. The Waterfield in sixth. Berkeley in seven. That's a seven. Which is the Once again, Richard Smith, well played the front of this three when he's got the to race number 29, sponsored by Speedway Services. See their advert for details in this programme. Second place and Tom Ferry makes a move round the outside to go through into second place. But Harlan Cook is a big leader the front of Well, 
Well, it's on to race 29 and the win for number 7, Harlan Cook. Second number 1, Tom Perry. And third, 178, Scott Campus. 8, 136, 152, 4, 12, and 36. 1 minute 24.38. 1 minute 24.38. We move on to race 30, sponsored by Amy Verity Motorcycles. 1 edition number 73, Chris Smith. Back round the outside, Morris Jones leads going down the back straight the first time. John Underwood round the outside to go through into leading position. Jones hits back on the inside. These two locked together the first and second places on the entry to that to fifth corner on the opening lap. It's Morris Jones who comes down that corner. Right, right, and Andy Smith holds the eighth place position. As it is, Morris Jones clear going down that back straight. John Underwood in hot pursuit in second place. Good race going on between these two for first and second and eight places. Barney still holds that third place position at Jones Lee. Couldn't put him two under again. As Morris Jones still continues to lead. John Underwood makes the move on the inside here at the front. Halfway down that back straight, relegating Morris Jones to second place. They go into the fifth corner on lap number three of race number 30. And it's John Underwood who leads them. So Morris Jones holding that second so John Underwood again is going to pick up the points of hard way coming through from the back to win race number 30. John Underwood gets the second. Third place goes to the second. Lee Barley there, followed by David. Race 30 result to win the number 77, John Underwood. Second number 115, Morris Jones. And third, number 19, Lee Barley. 364. 29. 73. 246. And 94. 1 minute 31.50. 1 minute 31.50. Johnson's of Oldhurst on the sponsor of race number 31, the first semi-final of the 500 sidecars.
Thanks for calling the crew. First choice of date to John 48. I get to the crew number 31. Bradley get round the outside of that top turn. It's Wayne Reed has gone through into that third place. Vision Scott Dunn leads him going down the back straight. Nick Bradley gets round the outside. Scott Dunn comes again back up the into the bike between these two. They hit that fence corner once again. With Scott Dunn on the inside, it's Nick Bradley round the outside. Line. As Nick Bradley leads going down that back straight once again. Scott Dunn about two points length behind him. He's still getting away from Wayne Reed. He's got that third place. And Scott Dunn having a tremendous go around the outside of that fence corner. He's alongside Nick Bradley coming out of the Nick Bradley, fantastic action between these two as they go into the pit corner once again. Nick Bradley on the inside, Scott Dunn again, full throttle around the outside. Oh, and Scott Dunn has gone over in a big way. What a dreadful day because that was a fantastic race in prospect there. Let's hope they are going to be okay. What a great shame that was because that was absolutely superb there between Nick and Abby Radley and Scott Dunn and Natasha Barker. The outcome is that the machine is now upside down on the inside of the track and what a great shame that was. <laughs> Second place on the tail of Simon Beard now going down that back straight on the opening lap. Beard leads you from RB in second. South getting in third. North is in fourth. Carmel surprise you back in five. Now goes through into that fourth place. Christian of Simon Beard is in clear leader then to Sean Harvey. Everything now going North is in five. That's the five of them. Go to the back straight once again. Sean Harvey making a big move now. Just over to that leading position with Simon Beard. Still has the advantage there to that pits corner once again. Sean Harvey again. Will he try inside? Will he try outside? Simon Beard holding the inside line. Sean Harvey trying to And now Harvey goes back. Running on the inside, Harvey goes wide, cuts back to the inside run. Will he get through on the inside of Simon Beard? No, he can't. There's a bite between these two again. They dive into that pits corner once again. Simon Beard again increases lead going into that pits corner. Sean Harvey holds that second place with him. He's lost the two on the Going down that back spread on lap number four, there's still about a bike and a half between these two as they race. Halfway down the back spread on lap number four, Simon Beard leads going in to that pits corner, Sean Harvey goes wide, then cuts back to the inside run, but Simon Beard wins seven points. Third place in Dave Carver, fourth place in Race 32, AJL painting and decorating on the sponsors are winning for number 4, Simon Beard and Mark Kearns. Second number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hawk. And third number 44, Gary Southgate and Adam Young. Fourth number 55. 1 minute 26.25. 1 minute 26.25. We now go back to race 31. Johnson's of Aldhurst are the sponsors of the uh, first semi-final of the 500 sidecars. Right, circling around then for the restaging of race number 31. Second semi-final of the 500 sidecars. Another 
Shoulder to shoulder on the outside, inside and outside of that fifth corner is Wayne Reed making a big move around the outside. Nick Ravley on the inside, Wayne Reed again trying to get around the outside of that top corner, super action between these two. Nick Ravley's left the gap on the inside and Wayne Reed has gone through that gap to leave this first semi final into the fifth corner on lap number two. Wayne Reed leads it, but Abby, Nick Ravley who holds that second place. Coming under pressure, and Mike Reed, and Mike Reed goes through on the inch of Nick Ruddy to go through the second place. The Reed holding a one-two, and Nick Ruddy now relegated to the third place as Wayne Reed leads on to lap four. But Mike Reed holding on second. Consolidating that second place, so Wayne Reed is going to pick up the winning ride this time. Second place goes to the right. Nick Radley. Fourth place is Paul Moorcock. And fifth place is. Drama in the restaging of the first semi final of the 500 sidecars. The winner number 56, Wayne Reed, Craig Matheson. Second number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Hopkins. And third number 21, Nick and Abby Radley. 1, 2, 3, and 46. 1 minute 28.41. 1 minute 28.41. And then for race 73, another leg on the uh, upright solo. In the second day, Needham goes round the edge of Chris Ward to retake that second place as Guthridge is the leader then. So Needham in second, Ward is up the third. Joyce is the fourth. in seventh place. That's the seventh. They go down the back straight once again. Ian Guthridge starting to get away at the front end. But Dave Needham holding that second place. Chris Ward again looking back second place of Dave Needham. And Barry Joyce getting very close in fourth place. The main after the second, third. And fourth place is leads into that pits corner on lap number four. Ian Guthridge gets the winning ride this time. Second place goes to the fourth. Three places in the
Race 33 result, then a win for number 174 in Gutteridge. Second number 61, Chris Ward. And third, 364, Dave Needham. 57, 189, 127, 246. 1 minute 33.84. 1 minute 33.84. That second place, good ride by Michael Fulton, the him goes through into fourth place, then Mark Ferry's got round the edge of Fulton to retake that fourth place position. This spin is doing that, but with it all in of Dave Mears to move back through in the second place as Richard Smith leads going down the back straight once again and the Whitaker pushing really hard there in second place Dave Mears consolidating that third Mark Ferry has got the fourth place Bob this five rubber in the Richard Smith going down that back straight as a bike between these two as they go in that fifth corner once again Smith is still a bike advantage over Whitaker in second Mears has got the third Ferry is in fourth place Richard Smith more in Superb 350 action there in race number 34, won by number 33, Richard Smith. Second, number 17, Andrew Whitaker, And third, number 19, Dave Mears. 188, 144, 18, and 82. Winning time, 1 minute 26.62. 1 minute 26.62. And uh, Chris Smith making a big move around the outside of that top corner to go through in the fourth place. The clever ride by John Underwood. See you pick up two places to go through in the second place. As Jones reads into the pitch corner on the opening lap, then it's Underwood who holds that second place position. Neither has got the third. <laughs> At the front, can John Underwood get through this time in race number 35? He's still getting away from Dave Needham, having a good scrap for that third place position. Christmas very close in four, and Lee Barley is in five. And Joe still is in second. Advantage over John Underwood. John Underwood very quick going into that sixth corner. Needham still holds that third. Barley now goes for the fourth, relegating Smith to five. As Morris Jones leads him on to the last time. Three by five as they go into that top corner. Of one. Cuts back for the inside runner to bite between them going down the back straight again. John Underwood Morris Jones. The lead going into that pitch corner of lap number four for the 375 action and John Underwood once again comes to the back to get the second place goes to Morris Jones. Third place is for Lee Barley. Fourth place is Jay. Leg 
number four, race 35, a win for number 77, John Underwood. Second, 115, Morris Jones. And third, number 19, Lee Barley. 364, 73, 29, 246, 94, Winning time, 1 minute 32.47, 1 minute 32.47. An air filter, back to the fan, an air filter. Fan, on my left, for race 36, on the on the two tip, the left, and back in two tip, the action lead, and it's a... Making a good start, but the back of the face, on the back of the goes through on the inside, Harlan Cook has come for nowhere to go from the second place, Don Burry now moves through. Into fourth place is ship leads him going to the back straight the first time. Cook has got the second, street in third, Perry in four, Josh Dingles in five, Scott Campus is in six, Craig Glory in seven, as Harlan Cook is down. <laughs> Cook again back round the outside, retakes the lead and Tom Perry has got round Lee Street to go through into that third place position. As Cook leads it then, but ship in second, Perry in third, Street in four, Dingle in five, Campers in six, Drury in seven, that's Silver seven, as Marlon Cook Drury is in seventh place and Josh Dingle having to go to that fourth place of Lee Street to go in that pitch corner once again still Harlan Cup with advantage and he's getting away from Alan Ship now as he last that flag goes out to the fourth Top corner, can he improve on that third place position? As Harlan Cook leads him into the pitch corner, 40 from the time in race number 36. It's Harlan Cook who gets 45. Second place goes to Adam Tom Perry. Right to four, he leads him up, he will just up around the outside to get four. And he's three, five, got campus to six, Craig Glory in second place. JRM engines uh, imported by Speedway Services are the sponsor of race number 36 to win for number 7, Harlan Cook. Second number 16, Adam Ship. And third number 1, Tom Perry. 17, 75, 178, and number 10. 1 minute 25.62. 1 minute 25.62. Race 37 is the uh, upright final, sponsored by A&D Verity. There is one change, number 57, Barry Joyce is not going, the reserve comes in, that's number three, Ben Leeds. Third is Ian Guthridge, leads him down the back straight for the first time in the upright final. Peter Baker now goes through in the second. Arnie Fenner's up to third. Dave Needham holds that fourth place. And Chris Ward is in five. That's the top five as Ian Guthridge takes a wide line on the end. Chris Ward is in five. Barley in eight. That's the eight. And Peter Baker almost through on the inside of Ian Guthridge going down that back straight. Baker gets through on the inside of Guthridge to lead into that uh, pitch corner on lap number two. Will Guthridge take that big sweep back around the outside of that pitch corner? Yes, he does, but Peter Baker is in control of the situation. Baker yet to be this upright class so far this afternoon, the clear leader going down that back straight, Ian Guthridge holds that second place to Arnie Fenner has now gone back through into third, the street rod is chasing that third place position as Baker has got the leader, Fenner has got the third, he's getting away from Ian Guthridge, who's 
consolidating that second place. Arnie Sutter leading that three months front for third place in the up right final going in to the final corner. Peter Baker gets the one in line. Second place is Sutter's going to hang on to that third. Race 37, the upright final, the win for number one, Peter Baker. Second number 174, Ian Gutteridge. And third number 32, Arnie Fenner. 61, 4, 364, 19, 189, 3, and 127. 1 minute 30.15, 1 minute 30.15, the winning time. Andrew Whittaker follows him around the outside, they're three abreast going to the back straight for first place, Super 3 tips the action, Richard Smith leads it, Tom Dolman's got the second, Andrew Whittaker in third, Dave Mears is in fourth place, that beat Tom Four as they exit the fifth corner to complete that score. on that pits corner, goodness only knows, he not only stopped on, he came back to win it, so uh, show your appreciation, fabulous 350 final on there, and what a ride by Richard Smith, he looked for all the world to be lost in on that pits corner, he's not going to come back to win the 350s, Bob Dolman finishes in third place, and Andrew Whittaker improving with every meeting, tremendous ride there to pick up the second place position for Andrew, tremendous ride there, getting second place in the 350 final, so show your appreciation on that top corner. Superb 350 final there, won by number 33, Richard Smith. Second number 17, Andrew Whittaker. And third number 16, Bob Dolman. 19, 144, 188, 18, 82, 14 and number 9 1 minute 25.16 1 minute 25.16 37 87 25 49 31 and number 81 
Start. Colin Blackmore has got away Rob Bradley very slow away back in fourth place at the moment as Colin Blackmore leads going into that top corner Mark Costa has got the second place Gareth Williams and Megan move around the outside Rob Bradley has got a point place Windeburn has got the third and Gareth Windeburn goes through and into Mark Costa go through into second place as Colin Blackmore leads him going up the back straight then Windeburn has got the second it's Costa in third Bradley is in fourth place they dive into that top corner on lap number two Colin Blackmore riding the second Winterburn's again trying to get back where they're just not the fourth place they're hunting down Colin Blackmore they go off the back straight once again Colin Blackmore just for the manager Mark Costa on the inside Winterburn's again making a big move round the outside of that top corner Rob Bradley holds that fourth place position and Mark Costa's almost got through he's just coming back Last up there, then Costa holding the second. Winterburn's again trying to get back where they're just going to go through the second place. And Winterburn's really having to go. The Colin Blackburn and Winterburn's have gone too wide, and Mark Costa gets back through on the inside. Winterburn's again a big move back where they're tied of that top corner. Tremendous race for second place. And Colin Blackburn gets the second place is Gareth Winterburn. Third place is Mark Costa. Fourth is Rob Bradley. These four are long way through the great race between John Stafford and Del Page for fifth and sixth places. Right, show your appreciation with the thousand sidecars, fabulous thousand cc sidecar final then, some tremendous stuff, particularly for the second and third places, Colin Blackburn stole the march at the front of the field, making a cracking start, hasn't had the happiest of season, big confidence boosting, winning ride just ahead of the Masters in a fortnight's time, so tremendous ride there for uh, Colin Blackburn and Martin Smith, they in the thousand cc sidecars this afternoon, Colin Blackburn and Martin Smith, Tremendous race for second and third, and what a prospect Gareth Winderburn is now. He's in the driving seat. Rob Bradley, Sean Sims, and they come around. They finish in fourth place. Mark and Tom Costa, they finish in third place there. So, and then uh, as I say, Dal Page comes round. Get a tremendous race for fifth and sixth places there with uh, John Stafford. And the young man, he's not had too many rides as a driver, but my word, he is improving with every ride. Gareth Winderburn and Liam Brown in the chair. Fantastic ride there. The last sidecar to come round on their lap of honour. Absolutely superb thousand cc sidecar final. One by number 25, Colin Blackbourne and Martin Smith. Second number 49, Gareth Winterburn and Liam Brown. And third, number 37, Mark and Tom Cosser. 87, 81, and 31. 1 minute 14.88. 1 minute 14.88. almost at the back of the field so Tom Perry with an all to this last leg of the 500 solo and that's allowed Harland Cook to be well in that second place what a ride again by Tom Perry got to that seventh place he's back up in the third place and chasing Rich Wilding for that second place position it's Harland Cook set fair to Brunford Wilding holding that second place Perry closing down with every turn in the wheel looking back second place to Wilding Thank you. 
Cuddy again moving around the outside of that top semi still. Reese Wilding hangs on to that second place with Tom Ferry goes past him to move through into the second place position. Scott Campbell has got fourth place. Alan Alvin Ferry is five. And Marvin Crook has got the last up and then Tom Ferry always has got the third. It's the Campbell in fourth. Alan Alvin Ferry is in five. Crook clear going down the back straight, 40, top of the time in race number 40. Tom Ferry still holds that second place position as Harlan Crook gets the winning ride. Second place for Tom Ferry, third place for Chris Harley. Fourth place goes to Scott Stamford. Fifth place for Alan Carlton Bay. Sixth place for the Reds. Seventh for the Garrett. And that concludes the right. And the eighth place, Alan Pease coming around in eighth place. Very appreciation of the 500 lads come round now. That one led round by Harlan Crook and Reese Warren follows him round. Then we've got uh, Tom Perry. So we show the appreciation. Mr. Griffin tucks in behind uh, Tom Perry there. Aaron Albert Dale and Aaron P. The one has come round the lap of honour for the fourth leg of the 500 solos. Race 40 result to win for number seven, Harlan Cook. Second number one. Tom Perry and third number eight, Reese Wilding. 178, 152, 4, 12, and 36. 1 minute 35.44. 1 minute 35.44. They're bunching up then, 40 minor places coming out of that big corner. Going down that back straight and Scott Dunn has not finished with yet. Looks good getting away from Simon Beard who holds it. Fourth place position. Scott Dunn again making a big move around the outside of that pit corner. He's on the shoulder of Wayne Reed coming out of that pit corner. And moves to the second place. <laughs> Big move round the outside of that pitch corner, but Nick Bradley pushing right on the edge of the field. Fourth on the beard, Sean Holder got up to fifth place. 
that is Gary Southgate 6, but what a tremendous ride there in that 500 sidecar final, and all credit to Scott Dunn, bearing in mind he'd been upside down on that pitch corner in the semi-final, he tried everything he knew to get to uh, Nick Radley and uh, John Cook, fantastic 500 sidecar final there, and uh, a great race between the uh, top two. What happened to Sean Harvey on the starting line, we don't know. He managed to button his way through into fifth place overall, but obviously problems on the starting line. So I'm sure they'll come round the lap of honour, so show your appreciation. Absolutely fantastic 500 sidecar final. Nick Radley with John Cook in the chair, they have won this uh, final. So Nick Radley change of passenger, John Cook comes out for the final and helps Nick Radley to that winning ride in that uh, 500 sidecar final. He gets a winning ride, Wayne Reid. Craig Matheson, we've got Rainy, we've got Simon B, Bob Thompson, special round of applause there for Scott Lowe and Natasha Barkley. What a performance in that final after going upside down in the semi-final. Absolutely fantastic performance. Donut there from Wayne Reid, Gary Southgate who's helped to put this meeting on today, and Adam Young, they complete the parade for the 500 sidecar finals. Fantastic way to end the day, and a win there for number 21, Nick Radley and John Cook. Second number 118, Scott Dunn and Natasha Barclay. And third number 56, Wayne Reed and Craig Matheson. Four, 72 and 44. One minute 26.28. One minute 26.28. The winning time will marshals and ambulance personnel please hold their position. So we'll start up then with the uh, 250s. 250 solos in third place. Josh Jingle. Right, we move on then. Second place, Harlan Cook. <laughs> Nobody seems to want the money at the moment. He's just coming up there, Harlan Cook coming up for his uh, second place. And the winner of the uh, 250 is Adam Ship. Adam Quitwood. Good finish today after a rather shaky start with the form of the practice. Uh, yeah, the final time, um, I was thinking about more continuum, obviously, as you know I didn't. A few people had a bit of bad luck on the day, which helped me, but it's a very weird way. Hard luck to them, so I did ride really well, but happy with the win, obviously. And some cracking race for that 250 class, so four of us are sometimes for first place. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much, especially independent, obviously, everyone's after. The big prize, and it's really good racing, yeah. Thank you very much, the 250 winner, Adam Ship. I think you've won the engine, Adam, but we're still working out. It's okay, this is just for the day, okay. Right, in Urban NT, 350s, in third place, putting all his experience to play, Bob Downman. Second place goes to Scott Campus. Yeah. 
describe the season's successful afternoon this afternoon? Uh, yeah, it was alright. First of all, I think we just told them to do it. Uh, we got the uh, third line for the uh, last eight in the final. So, yeah, so they're alright. You're proud of them to make the start. Is it a final you made that for the start? Uh, yeah, the third round was it. Was, uh, yeah, we, we needed to and we knew it. Uh, uh, didn't think we were going to do it, but we did. Martin, were you aware of the young bloke who stood very close behind you in that final? No, I was just looking ahead of him in the final. Interesting one, Colin, the practice early on. I think it was just Nash and Martin, how they go around in the practice. What was your idea behind all that? Uh, I don't know, really. It comes to me that she wanted to ride around on it, so uh, the opportunity was there, so we could go. Obviously the master didn't have kept the fish in a fortnight's time, but nevertheless you've had a few problems. It is a confidence boost in win, just a fortnight away from the masters, isn't it? Uh, it is, I went to uh, a good result last week as well, and that was, a, that was probably the bigger, bigger boost for us, but uh, yeah, it's a week to go, and uh, we leave this week, and it's, uh, yeah, all well, that. Uh, Thank you very much indeed, your thousand and sixty cycle winners. Coming back with a large hit spin. We're just going to hold this back in. There is a protest going on regarding the 500 sidecar, so obviously we cannot give the uh, awards for the 500 sidecars. The lady is involved, has been kicked out of the caravan that was sort of the other awards, because obviously they've got to have complete privacy in the caravan, so at the moment we're not in a position to do the other awards either. So please bear with us, we do have a problem with the 500 sidecar, we're not exactly sure what that problem is, it's been sorted out by the club stewards and the clerk of the course and various other officials. Until that problem is sorted, we cannot present the final the sidecars and we cannot present the other awards as well. So, as soon as we know exactly what's going on, we will be back to present the other awards. Thank you. Hey, Adam. Thank you very much. It's courtesy of uh, Alan Bell and the great supporters of this club. And, uh, it is an image of the 250 there for uh, Adam Ship, which obviously will be a great help to Adam. Very pleased, yeah, yeah, I'll leave it. There you go, Adam Shipper in the engine. Alan, uh, just a word, not to shout the do for the friendlands, we are extremely grateful for the sponsorship you put in again today. There you go, Alan Barron, thank you very much indeed for that brand new engine. He's already worked his way up to that fourth place position. Harlan Cup making a big move round the outside of that fifth corner. Super action for second and third chip again. Back inside Cup Cup making a big move round the outside of that fifth corner. The three abreast the first, second and third places coming out of that fifth corner. And chip Going in the top corner, Richard Smith has got the second hand. Whitaker in third, Richard Smith almost off his machine up on that top corner. Drop three places, goes back to fifth place. The Yeah, if you're trying to find a way through on the inside to go through, is that leading position? They've exited that top two for the first time. It's Dunn's got the speed round the outside with Wayne Reed again trying to get back through on the inside. Third place, they can't believe for Barry Bennett again. Surprise you back in fifth place. They go to the back straight for the first time. It's Gary South, because he leads Sean Harvey trying to find a way through on the inside. Super axe between these two. Gary in four, Harlan Cook in five. Look at them bunching up on the exit for that top corner. John the opening lap speed has got the second, but there goes Dingle back through on the inside. Tom Perry making the move around the outside. The point between these two still Mark Cotter holds the third place, and Rob Bradley gets the run into Colin Blackmore. Rob Cotter will come again, will take the second place again from Colin Blackmore going up that back straight. Tremendous thousand CC sidecar action. Gareth Winterburn has not finished yet. And Rob Bradley, they're getting away at the front. And Gareth Winterburn has gone from the third. Colin Blackmore comes again to retake that third place and tries to cut back inside Mark Cosser on the entrance of that top corner. Rob Bradley gets the second place. Goes to Mark Cosser. Winterburn gets the third. Colin Blackmore relegated to fourth. Good race, Gareth. Third place is John Barry Johnson on the entrance.
Making a move around the outside, so Craig Smith on the inside, Mark Cosser getting around the outside, going to win trying to go find a way through on the inside, Mark Cosser, they touch coming out of that top corner, and Gareth Winterman, just got him, tremendous last corner there by Gareth Winterman, Mark Cosser leads him going down the back straight, Mark Nick Rabbit gets around the outside, Scott Dunn comes again back up the inside, the fight between these two, they hit that fifth corner once again, and Scott Dunn having a tremendous go around the outside of that fifth corner, he's alongside Nick Rabbit coming out of the Nick Bradley, fantastic action between these two as they go into the pitch corner once again. Nick Bradley on the inside, Scotland again, full throttle around the outside. Oh, and Scotland is going to open a big way. Oh, goes wide, cuts back to the inside one. Will he get through on the inside of Simon Beard? No, he can't. Wayne Reed has now moved through in fact the second place, pushing these two shoulders, shoulder on the outside, inside and outside of that pitch corner. Is Wayne Reed making a big move around the outside? <laughs> between these two, Nick Rabbit's left the gap on the inside of Wayne Reed has gone through that gap to leave this first semi-final into the fifth corner on lap number two. Oh, Wayne superb last corner as they dive into that fifth corner once again, Richard Smith is on way, looking at coming from the center left. Tom Andrew Whittaker, Street in third, Perry in four, Josh Dingle in five, Scott Campus is in six, Craig Drury in seven, and Harlan Cook is down. <laughs> Cook again back round the outside with Andrew Whittaker follows him round the outside. The three abreast going to the back straight for first place. Super 350 action. Richard Smith leads it. Oh, Richard Smith almost off there. Completely got it in control. He's lost the lead. Andrew Whittaker going to the Coming to play as they go to the back foot on lap number four. Winning the lead of Richard Smith, making a big move around the outside. The back marker does come into play as Richard Smith gets down the end to the back of Winnicott. Winnicott comes again back up the inside line, the race for the line. It's Face there, hunting down, Colin Blackmore. They go off the back straight once again. Colin Blackmore just for managing Mark Cosser on the inside. Winterburns again making a big move round the outside of that top corner. Rob Bradley holds that fourth place. And it goes through the second place. And Winterburns really having to go. But Colin Blackmore and Winterburns have gone too wide. And Mark Cosser gets back through on the inside. Winterburns again a big move back round the outside of that top corner. Tremendous race for second place. And Colin Blackmore gets the second place. Third place is Mark Cosser. They're bunching up then for the the place is coming out of that fifth corner. Thompson again making a big move around the outside of that fifth corner. He's on the shoulder of Wayne Reed coming out of that fifth corner. Thompson again making that move around the outside of the fifth corner of the shoulder. Nick Rumley coming out of the corner. Nick Rumley still leading. Outside on the shoulder of Nick Rabbit going down that back straight. There's half a bite between them going into that pitch corner. Nick Rabbit on the inside, Scotland again making his big move round the outside of that pitch corner, but Nick Rabbit pushing wide on the end of the That gives Gary Southgate six, but what a tremendous line there in that 500 sidecar final. And all credit to Scott Dunn, bearing in mind he'd been upside down on that pitch corner in the semi final. He tried everything he knew to get to uh, Nick Radley and uh, John Cook. Fantastic 500 sidecar final.